In this video, we'll try a traditional Italian chestnut cake recipe dating back at least to the Italian Renaissance, Castagnaccio. This chestnut cake was popular in many regions of central and northern Italy. It's particularly associated with the rural Apennine Mountains in Italy, where chestnuts were a staple sweet and an important source of nutrition. This cake is made simply with chestnut flour and water and enhanced with raisins, pine nuts, and sometimes walnuts and orange zest. And by the way, this cake is also naturally gluten-free and vegan. Let's get started. We start by sifting the chestnut flour. Add a pinch of salt. Then we add cold water to create a smooth paste. And as for the sugar, Here's why there's no sugar in the traditional version of this recipe. In the Renaissance, sugar was still an expensive luxury. Poor folks such as those who would have made Castagnaccio would not have had ready access to it. In fact, it wasn't until after World War II that the Castagnaccio became less popular, no doubt because the economic boom allowed more people to discover sweeter, tastier desserts. Now that we have a smooth chestnut paste, let's add some nuts and raisins to boost the flavor. Raisins need to be soaked before popping them into a cake. The traditional recipe calls for soaking them in water. However, here I'm soaking them in Vinsanto for about 30 minutes. Vinsanto is an Italian wine that this cake is often served with. By the way, the original cake was literally just chestnuts and water. Raisins were introduced later, and pine nuts were the most recent addition to this traditional recipe. Now that the raisins are in the mix, we'll add the rest, walnuts and pine nuts. Saving some for the top, of course. Walnuts, rosemary, orange rind, and fennel seeds are common additions in some regions of Italy. These days, the interest in castagnaccio in Italy has seen a revival since people are looking back in history to find healthy recipes that have been forgotten. These days, this cake is particularly popular as a fall dessert. And by the way, if you want to learn how to roast chestnuts or peel chestnuts, check out other videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you will find classic foolproof recipes from Italy and beyond. Click the bell as well for new video notifications. And as for the size of this cake, this cake is supposed to be short, an inch at most, and we are going for the tallest version here. You can bake the castagnaccio instead in a jelly roll pan and go for a shorter version. And like I said, following the most popular recipes, I'm adding a bit of fresh rosemary on the top. I normally love rosemary, which is abundant in Italy and does pop up now and again in traditional Italian breads and desserts. Okay, that's it. Into the oven. And let's find out if this Renaissance cake meets modern expectations. And it's ready. So what's the verdict? Here are the good things about this cake. I appreciate how much you can feel the chestnuts. They aren't overwhelmed by the other ingredients. And I love the wine-soaked raisins. Chestnuts have more sugar than your average nut. But ultimately, this isn't a cake that meets our modern thinking about a cake due to the lack of sweetener. But if you add a few tablespoons of sugar or honey and think of it more as a nutritious nut bar, you'll find plenty of reasons to enjoy this healthy Mediterranean snack. Hey, bon appetito!